with the change in time, cameras have become more and more capable of shooting both videos and images. And because of the rise of video-centric social platforms, these hybrid cameras are now popular among all camera lovers. But most hybrid cameras come with a hefty price tag, which might scare off those with a tighter budget. So, in this video, we're going to talk about the best hybrid cameras you can get within $1,000. With that being said, let's get started. First, we're going to discuss one of the cheapest full-frame cameras available on the market, the Canon EOS RP. Featuring a 26.2 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, this camera lets you shoot 4K videos at up to about 24 frames per second at 4x2x08 bit color depth. And for slow motion videos, you can also utilize its 60fps full HD videos. And for images, it comes with an optical low-pass filter, eliminating more air and aliasing effect. And its 26 megapixel is also suitable moderately well for landscape, portrait, and street photography. Moreover, the Digic 8 image processor can shoot up to 5 frames per second in burst shooting mode. As for autofocus, this camera includes dual pixel CMOS autofocus with 4,770 non-selectable autofocus positions. However, you can use this autofocus for full HD videos only. If you shoot 4K videos, your autofocus switches to contrast detection, which is a downer. The 4K mode also gives you a cropped view. Overall, if you want to enter into the full-frame realm and looking for a full-frame camera for just under $1,000, the Canon EOS RP is the perfect choice for you. Next, we will talk about the Panasonic G9. Equipped with a 20.3 megapixel live MOS micro four touch sensor, this camera comes with an impressive image and video capturing ability. It lets you capture 6K images at 30fps and 4K images at up to 60fps. For shooters who prefer high-resolution pictures, there is a high-res mode that allows for stitching 8 images together to create a whopping 80 megapixel image. Apart from that, it allows shooting 4K videos at 30 frames per second with 10-bit 4x2x2, ensuring more colors and details into your footage. And for slow motion, it can shoot 4K 60fps videos at 8-bit depth. Besides, there is a 5-axis image stabilization and a 3.0-inch 1.04 million dot LCD touchscreen, giving you more freedom to shoot handheld, handy for vlogging, and run and gun shots. Though the G9 comes with contrast-based autofocus, the fast-performing Venus engine processor makes the autofocus much more effective and accurate. In short, the Panasonic G9 is a feature-packed camera that offers high-quality images and videos with vivid colors and is suited for many genres of photography and videography. Coming up next is the Nikon Z50, featuring impressive video specs and autofocus capabilities. It comes with a 20.9 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor. The stacked construction of the sensor allows for faster sensor readout, hence less rolling shutter effect and impressive performance in low-light situations. Moreover, it lets you shoot 14-bit RAW images for flexible post-production support. Besides, the camera is fast enough and capable of capturing 11 frames per second with auto-exposure and auto-focus. Additionally, it can also shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second. For slow motion, you can record full HD videos at 120 frames per second. Apart from all of that, this camera offers a hybrid autofocus system consisting of 209 phase detection autofocus and contrast detection areas. At the same time, its eye and phase detect autofocus is efficient enough and detects your subject accurately. So, 
Nikon Z50 is an impressive camera for Nikon lovers, offering both high-end image and video capabilities with excellent stabilization. Next, we're going to talk about the Sony A6400, a sleek and compact hybrid camera with impressive autofocus and excellent video capturing abilities. It offers a 24.2 megapixel APS-C Exmor CMOS sensor and lets you shoot 14-bit RAW images. This camera is capable of shooting 4K videos at 24 frames per second. As the 4K is downsampled from 6K footage, this camera allows for shooting footage with excellent details and preserves the highlights and shadows quite well. There's also a 4K 30fps mode, but it will give you a slightly cropped view. One of the most tracking features of this camera is its hybrid autofocus system, consisting of 425 phase detection points and contrast detection areas. Besides, eye and face detection is so accurate that it ensures you don't lose your subject even in low light situations. However, there is no stabilization in this camera, so you might find it difficult when shooting without a tripod or gimbal. Overall, Sony A6400 is an excellent video shooting machine with impressive autofocus performance, which is best suited for enthusiasts looking for a high-end APS-C camera. Lastly, we have the Fujifilm X-S10, which offers faster performance and impressive low-light captures. This camera features a 26.1 megapixel APS-C X-Trans BSI CMOS 4 sensor, which lets you shoot full width 20 frames per second with its electronic shutter. Alternatively, you can also choose to shoot a 30 frame rate with a 1.25 times crop. These hyper straights are handy when shooting sports or wildlife. And the back illuminated construction of the sensor ensures that you can take breathtaking images and videos even in low light situations. Speaking of videos, it can shoot DCI 4K videos at 30 frames per second, and for slow motion videos, you can shoot full HD videos at a whopping 240 frames per second. Besides, it has a 5 axis in body image stabilization, 425 point hybrid including both phase and contrast detection autofocus, 3.0 inch 1.04 million dot variable angle touchscreen, and whatnot. In short, the Fujifilm X-S10 has everything you would want in a $1,000 camera. So, that was all about the best hybrid cameras under $1,000. All the cameras have distinctive features for both images and videos. So, which one did you find the most suitable for you? Let us know in the comment section.